In this lesson, we want to explain squash and stretch deformer. Beginning with a cube, the filter, we disable work plane. And as I said before, we have to hold in shift and click squash and stretch. Because we need two things, making a child of the object and going to the axis of the object. This uh, with holding shift the software do two, these, two, these two things for us automatically in its settings we are uh, the stretch and squash uh, deformer act uh, this factor it's the main uh, setting of the stretch and squash with changing that slider we can uh, stretch and uh, squash but it does not work because we need more segment. So we more, oh sorry, we know more segment for our object. Going to display graph shading line. As you can see, I change the factor. And increase the number of the segment to see the squash and stretch deformer. And as you can see, if you increase the factor, we have a <coughs> stretched. And if you reduce it, we have a squash effect. As you can see, you can do like this. Okay. Uh, with right click on this arrow, we'll go into the default uh, setting. So with changing the factor, you can stretch or squash the object. <coughs> Okay, going to this main uh, view and uh, change the display to shading. Going to the basic of the cube and make it X-ray to look at the through that. Or you can, sorry, you can disable that. <clears throat> As you can see, this is our stretch and squash uh, deformer that has two top and bottom handle here. Okay. If we stretch the object in the object tab, stretch it, go in this view. As you can see, you can change the top. The number of negative 100 centimeter or positive 100 centimeter because the size of the object, okay? If to your size of object was in another number, they will be changed, okay? Because we holding shift, it's exactly fit to the parent and we have the exact number but you can change the top handle as you can see if you change the top handle the handle comes here make it extra to see the better as you can see the handle come here and the area of the action of the uh, comment will be here so you can change the top like this. Or also you can change the button. Button. And here is center. This is the center axis of the object. And as you can see, it's uh, do symmetrically. But if you change the center, you can change the center of the action of the comment. <laughs> right click to. The aspect is, uh, it means if you, the, ax, uh, the aspect is in a 100%, it means the, the comment will be due symmetrically. But if you change it, number or more negative number or more positive number, we have like um, uh, something like that, that uh, uh, we have not symmetrically <coughs> A stretch or a squash in x axis you can change it in the x axis like this if this one 100 we have symmetrically stretched for example you can change it we have something expand and curvature i have to explain <coughs> with each other the expand uh, sitting control the uh, inside curve of the common because you can see you can change the amount of the curve inside but 
the curvature control the whole curve as you can see control the whole curve we have a smooth start and a smooth end it's at a bevel at the end or start of the tool this is type of this curve we have a <clears throat> um, some type of the curve this curve is cubic uh, this curve is a square this curve is, is this cubic in the middle it's a little be little straight straight in the middle this cubic quadric it's more straight in the middle and the custom the power will be turned on and you can change the power like this if you make the power number one or zero it's completely linear if the power number will be upper we are something like this the two it means a curve it's actually the degree of the curve i think and the spline the spline is very interesting uh, I explain this window, this um, function graph, you can refer to, to that lesson. But you can uh, create your curve for this curve. Simply, uh, you can hold control and click and drag to make your curve like this. And you can stretch your squash by that link, that spline. Interesting or you can go into the square <clears throat> you can assign your uh, cube uh, common object like this that has a hierarchy or lots of hierarchy you first select the object and as you can see it's a uh, distance from the center of the uh, software as you can as i said before if you insert any object or any comment it will be come to center of the object we have to go in the center of the object and we have a lot of trouble for doing that going to model mode and delete that if you couldn't delete anything because you are in a component element <coughs> selection going to the model mode select the objects and holding shift and assign the squash as you can see it's uh, going to the <coughs> child of the object but it's very confusing just i do it because i want to uh, set i want to make the position of the <clears throat> change the position of the axis to this axis center axis of the that object and completely fit to object as you can see the top and the bottom number will be changed exactly according to the uh, as you can see according to the uh, y <clears throat> dimension of the object so for avoiding your confuse click and drag release it and for those situations we need to assign, insert a null object and give both of them under the null object in this situation if the comment and the object are beside to each other the common assigned to that object as you can see you can change a factor and that is nice okay this is a squash and a stretch deformer that's interesting and you can uh, create uh, lots of cartoony movement for your character hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.